In the meantime, the Minister for Education, Maman Tahir, has flagged up the commencement of the National Skill Acquisition, Skill Qualification Framework, NSQF, in Adamawa State Polytechnic. The inaugural ceremony, which was held at the State Polytechnic EULA, complied with the directives of the Federal Minister of Education and the National Board of Technical Education, NBTE, to champion the cause of skill acquisition among the youths. The National Skill Qualification Framework, NSQF, is designed by the federal government to take unemployed youths out of the streets by giving them necessary skills in which they will use to earn income without relying on white-collar jobs. The program is kicking up in Adamawa State Polytechnic with enrollment of 180 students. 18 traders available for the training include wheel alignment and 18 traits rather available for the training include wheel alignment and balancing, refrigeration and air conditioning, welding and fabrication, aluminum fabrication and carpentry. Speaking shortly after being conducted round Minister of Education Education Professor Maman Tahir expressed delight with the state of the art facilities stocked, uh, stocked at the site meant for the practical use. He was represented by Jacob Ango Umaru, who urged the enrollees to put in their best while learning their respective trades and called on the Polytechnic to liaise with the state government towards securing the equipment. What I've seen today is properly implemented. In the next two years, the story of workforce in Adama State will be will, will change. And I pray that God will give him the grace to be able to do it. Adama State will be beautiful and better. Nigeria will be better. And the issue of unemployment in our streets will become a story if the learners that they have recruited for this program have put in their best. I want to thank God for that. Also speaking at the event, the Northeast Zonal Director, National Board of Technical Education, NBTE, Abdul Rahman Alpha, commended the Polytechnic and urged its counterparts across the country to follow suit. So Idris Bugaje is one Nigerian that is keenly interested in seeing that we address this issue of high unemployment now in the country. We address this issue of you know acquisition of academic certification only without skill and that's why his campaign has always been skills in addition with whatever certificate or degree you are going to acquire as for this and in my capacity as the not is zonal director i must tell you i am overjoyed today for so many reasons you know it's just like your house you come back and you find everything you wanted set in your joy will know no no limit uh we want to thank the rector, the, his governor, and the federal government that made this available. The rector at Damo State Polytechnic, SPY Professor Mohamed Dahiru Tongo, attributed the success of the project to Governor Amadu Omaru Fintari's purposeful leadership and said the program aims to take youths off the street and engage, and engage them meaningfully through the skill acquisition. That's what you are seeing here on the ground. So. We are now very confident with him that the moment this thing has started, in the next two years, I am telling you that you will not see people playing on the road side. You will see people employing others on the road side. And you will even be surprised. Those people who will graduate here as skilled people will employ degree holders to be under them. And that is our goal, to make sure that to reduce all employment on the street, and if this thing it is reduced, then there will be no problem in the country. So the moment somebody is engaged, you don't have something to play with. They, because they say an ideal man is a devil workshop. But the moment you have something to do, and you are sure, sure you can do that, and even employ somebody, that means that you are... One of the heads of trainers spoke on advantages students get or can get from the training. Thank God this is what I'm doing to feed my family. Things I've been doing to pay my children to put fees to them, and everything should just be. I want to thank God for the government of the nation, for the pandemic, what they have been doing for us. I want to you to come outside there to do, to come and join us for this program. Let me look deeper for government. Let us come and join us together so that can move it forward. Don't depend on government. Come, tailoring, mechanic, barber salon, weather, all they are available to all of us to just be. How do you to come outside? There's a benefit in this thing.
That's why I call everybody to just come and join us together. So that can be, don't depend on government. Come. I have a lot of benefit for this business. I'm a mechanic. Go have good family. I pay my school school fee with this mechanic. I pay everything. Most, most of my colleagues here, we are here. We have the benefit, a lot of benefit. For Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.